cannot tag you. Come beat me. You dey shop bottle. Come something. I ain't tagging shit. I pay you hundred percent of your fee. I I don't have any obligation to tag you. So guys. There is social media, but haha, as I am speaking to you guys, but I don't know what is that noise. Who is driving? But hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Princess. So the AMVCA is bringing drama. You know, it's insulting when you expect influencers to tag you after they pay you. you yes, a couple of people decided to go to the AMVCA and flaunt, you know, in their best outfit, looking good, looking nice, but there were some underground drama that happened that a lot of us did not know right now this drama is coming out to social media mm -hmm, you heard me right <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and our own very nello kk decided to put our mouth before i tell you guys what nello said in all of this let me give you guys a breakdown of what actually happened to so all my returnees you're welcome and if you're new, thank you so much you're welcome to panigas tv lady called Chioma Good Air came out to narrate the entire thing. I won't be playing that video, okay? I'll just do the narration with my mouth for you guys. So apparently, uh, one of the people who attended the AMVCA, it's called Nana, decided to, you know, on what she wanted to wear. So she and her stylist both went ahead and planned. But apparently, they had to bring the clothing to Nigeria from Ghana because you know, they can't, I know they, they can't put it together. So they gave it to a Nigerian tailor to put it together. Now this Nigerian tailor, according to the person who wore the clothes, asked the Nigerian designer that, are you going to want me to give you a shout out or you would want me to pay you? And the girl said she would like to be paid. So they paid her the sum of 400,000 naira to go ahead and, you know, make the dress. So she went ahead, made the dress and, you know, if I can find the image of that outfit, I'll put it here for you guys. Apparently, a lot of, you know, Boa has even come out to, you know, people found out that the dress was not even, you know, like an original creation. It was something someone had already created, but it was a copycat, actually. Yes, it was a copycat. Now, so... There's a drama. The girl in question who put the dress together here in Nigeria went on Facebook and started crying. Like she was literally pouring down tears from her eyes because she was not tagged as, you know, the person who made the dress. And now there's a debate going on on social media that should you actually tag or put, give credit to the person who makes something for you after you've paid them. I want to know what you guys think. When you've paid somebody for something, you've paid them and you've gone your way, should you go home and then give them credit? You know, that, oh, I bought this, like, I'm wearing this hair right now. I have a dealer. Am I supposed to come and give my dealer a credit that, oh, this was, this is my dealer. Is it compulsory? Right. For me, I have my opinion on this and I don't think it's actually compulsory for you to tag anybody when you've paid them. If I, if I have given you your money, I don't like, imagine you go to the market and then you buy something and then you come back home and then the person is telling you, you must tag me or is crying on social media. Like, Why didn't you tag me? I owe you nothing, girl, because I have paid you. If I choose to that tag you, then that is just me out of my goodwill or because I probably enjoyed how you treated me so much. Okay. If you've collected your money, don't come and be looking for tag. Just generally go and do the tagging yourself and make the noise yourself that, oh, I made this dress for this person and this, that, that, that. Anyway, Nilo KK, you guys know that she likes to talk. So this, she decided to put her mouth in all of this. I want us to watch that video together and, you know, let's just listen to what Nilo KK has to say in all of this. So I'm quickly going to talk about this because sometimes I don't like to mind my business. You know why you know you just do something, but then you cannot just mind your business sometimes. It, it happens to me too. So I seriously don't know the drama. I came on social media today. I saw Choma Good Hair talk about the issue. And then I came online now and I'm seeing somebody else talk about the issue. And people are perceiving it differently based on maybe who they are, whether they are an influencer or like the vendor or just like somebody that is consuming, um, you know, whatever every other person is putting out. So basically, when it comes to this whole tag thing and money thing and tagging and payment, people have realized that depending on who you talk to, they have a different perspective. Like, 
their opinion varies based on like who they are influencers have a different opinion vendors have a different opinion but should i tell you something the vendors are always on the wrong side of the table i will explain so they are fighting yes so they are fighting because of this particular dress that she's not supposed to tag her you know there's a season disease and disease you know she's going to sue her and everything blah 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 upon the cause of this dress what's so special about this dress but then again let's be honest there's no big deal in tagging this lady this she's an upcoming designer upcoming um uh, fashion designer that game will not remove anything from nana's body fine you paid her four hundred thousand naira for this dress four hundred thousand naira is even small for this dress let's be honest seriously but there's no big deal in tagging just small no tag just to support this lady there's no big deal i think she did the right thing she got she did a good job for you so what is the big deal in tagging her there's no big deal to talk about vendors and public figures so um i was there in nana's room at the echo signature when all of this brouhaha was happening i literally begged this um olivia girl because when this thing happened nana was like oh i already paid this girl right she already paid this girl and paying her to do the mesh thing was the only um big thing that she did literally so she was supposed to just stick on the 3d pieces on the mesh that she made so um nana said she put them in a hotel you know she bought them food and all of that but you know the attitude that she put up when i entered the room is really alarming it's so funny how this is only like a thing in nigeria imagine every outfit rihanna wears like she's going out she's dressed this designer probably made the outfit this stylist tied her this person did her makeup and under the post she'll be tagging everybody it doesn't even make sense like it's so it's so dumb why is this a thing in nigeria especially okay apparently they have to do what they tag or or payment and people are angry at that question i've never asked anybody this question before but let me tell you something social media has made a lot of vendors believe that how do i explain it okay i don't want to say that the payment is not important but if you're trying to grow your brand best believe that the tag or the collaboration or whatever has more value i don't know who's lying to you guys uh exposure will not pay my bills i've told you guys before this thing before on social media exposure does pay bills I, i'm sorry I'm, I'm not sure that you guys watching this video it pays bills why <laughs> okay, I was trying to say why are brands sending these celebrities? Let me not even use influencers because we were even like bottom feeders. Oh. We well, I'm not rich anyway, so it has nothing to do with us. But like, why are brands sending these celebrity items and still paying them on top of the items they sent to oh, just for a collaboration or a tag? Because I don't know, like I don't know who really lied to you guys. Like I don't know who told you guys this lie. I know that we all want to have that sense of self-worth, but sometimes like becoming down, okay? Even as an influencer, people advise against it, know your worth, don't take this job, don't take this job. But as best believe, I don't know the brand to say, let's just say Emirates come to me now, say all expense paid trip, blah, blah, blah. Okay, how much are you paying me? You know, free flights, a free stay, whatever accommodation, and everything in between. I'll do guys, but I will take it. Emirates, please, come, come on, give me, please. <sighs> Let me just round up and go back to the issue at hand. So, they paid you, and you're still vexing or demanding tagging or vexing and tag somebody else, blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you something. I ain't tagging shit. I pay you 100% of your fee. I, I don't have any obligation to tag you. You guys should stop asking people to tag you when they have paid the fee. It was an exchange of service. You've exchanged the service or like you've rendered your service. They've given you money. You have exchanged something. So nobody owes anybody anything again. If she chooses not to tag you, she owes you nothing. It's not something to come out and cry on social media. But anyway, that has a lot to say about the person actually crying and about their integrity and the kind of person they are and should probably make other people not associate themselves with that kind of person because really, who does that? But seriously, nobody owes anybody anything. I go to places, I use my money, I do things. If I want to, I will tag. People send PR packages. If I genuinely like it, I can share. But nobody's obligated to. Basically, I'm trying to say that the same thing that is causing fight is what 
brands pay for literally fancy beauty is owned by rihanna right rihanna doesn't need adverts but rihanna will send influencers products pay them very good money just so they advertise for them why are we not pretending that when a celebrity or influencer or whoever advertises for you on their social media it has no value that's the one i don't understand who is telling you guys that lie do you know something as simple as even tagging you on their stories or somewhere can bring you customers like let's like i just i just don't like the deception and you guys are deceiving other people even me as an influencer if i own a brand i was just talking about it today best believe i'm sending out pr packages i'm paying influencers i'm paying other people after i'm giving them products for free i'll give it to them for free i will still pay them just to please help my markets do you even know nigeria is tough right right i know it was a mouthful for nelo she really had a lot she wanted to unload but i sort of agree with her that you don't owe anyone you know to go ahead and tag them when you've paid them for their services but if out of your goodwill you choose to tag them it's fine and not tag you can't beat me the shop bottle can't beat me if i don't tag you all this uh, uh, creative makeup, hair, uh, design, I know, they, I know they overdo things. Wait, may I ask you something? So me now, nah, eh? You want to use me? I know if he use you. I bet I did the work. You want to come do something for me? You want me to pay you? Your full money? Oh. Then you want me to still tag you? What, what did me the benefit for you said? You pay me. What did me the benefit for you? You don't say, I always use the same people because I don't like drama. You see drama. Even when my people not, when they travel, I know they avoid things because I know if you explain. That's all with them. Person one get away that they use for yesterday. They talk to me, say, Oh man, notice you don't tag me, you don't tag me, but you tag other people. Why will I tag you? Why will I tag you? You know they give me discount. Now, even me, say funny enough, me naturally, I don't like free things. That's my friends. I don't like people say do free things for me. I like to pay. Because I think say you need like I want to pay for your creativity. I don't want to use you. But you see discounts, you must give me discounts. You must give me discounts because now mutual relationship you do for me, I do for you. You scratch my back, I scratch your back. You give me discounts, I give you people who go pay you the B. I must be the only would put that together. I must be our what? Not be me individual. The how much that they make. If I they give every photographer we take a picture, three hundred forty k per look, three hundred and forty k per look. How much I go get to chop food to make me look the part for your picture? May I tell you? I know not tell us that celebrities get money, but me not punky. You understand? Because at the end of the day, the life that cost, but you need to know how to navigate them. Now you make these things like collaboration. As a smart business person, when you will get access to certain people, your the first thing, your tools that you go bring now, collaborating tools. Ah man, let me do this. Ah, we still do this, we still exchange this, we still... Guess what? I don't have a problem with paying creatives because it's your creativity. You need to be paid for it. I don't get problem. But you see those ones where you won't make I pay you your full money and you won't make it tag me, you are a criminal. You know how long it not take me today, so they also my they build my fan page. It gets some people they know the Instagram. I don't meet one woman one time for outside. She tell me say she know the Instagram. She just open one page. She, she want to look for styles. So she will come my page. Come here and I get the same heights. She will come my page. You see the style. She will fold to the designer. Say please, I want exactly the real style. My body, not the body and the temple of God. If I wear your clothes, it's gone. If I wear your clothes, I know they brag. That's, I guess they just my designer as well. They wear their clothes. That's why I know they do wear people clothes. I know they do wear people clothes because if I wear your clothes, the touch of God, the touch of grace, I carry on my body everything. I get a shower body. Once I wear something, it go your day, like say you never seen them before. It day, it day brand new. Now that grace I carry. So if you want to come meet me, you don't want to pay. Because now, now you pay me now. Sometimes even the money they ask me, you pay sometimes away because it's not rich again. Photographers don't go, they are all mad. I know they take pictures like that. Like, check her. Check her. They use my whole days photographer, my guys, because we do not know they run out. Everybody, where they work with me, my team, they, they help me now. They give me discounts. They told you, told you, Felix. I'm told you, I'm one of the top, at least top three for Nigeria now. If I want to pay and real money, I want it one. I love it though. Now people will I they show this to people who pay and they be money. Me, now nah, I can't show what we are they do. I have this, manage this, I have that, manage that. Maybe they use the same stylist for how many years? Over 10 years. This is a big room. I know new stylists now. Nah. They say they go, I did my lane. Because no more problem. I know what people say me say they use them. May nobody use me, oh. May nobody use me if I don't use you. I don't quit fake life. Now nah, my eye is shiny. Now different you know reactions here and there different um actors are coming out to speak that oh you know um that is why i decided to just go for a low budget stylist or stick to the stylist i've known if i have paid you i'm not going to tag you also um 
Vicky James came outside and spoke and she was like, girl, collect your money. When you collect your money, move on. You don't need anybody to tag. You just make sure you collect your money. You don't come out doing free clothes, okay, for anybody. See, I think that one in that aspect is left to you, the designer. If you decide you want to be doing free thing, mm-hmm. now you can sabi. And if you decide you're going to charge for what you're doing and then go and do your promotion yourself. I'm not saying it's bad when this artist in question, they promote you. But I mean, I mean, if you've got, if they gave you the ultimatum that, oh, um, I'm going to pay you or do you want me to give you a shout out and you make the clothes for free? Now, sometimes, sometimes they might give you that shout out and, you know, the results might not be instant or you might never get any results at all. So do what works for you. Choose to collect your money and move on or whatever. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section because this drama is lingering. It's still ongoing. People are still lending their voices to it on Instagram. I said to bring it here to YouTube for you guys to know what's happening. You know, your girl is always everywhere to bring the gist to you guys. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.